Hi everybody, happy 4th. I just wanted to send you this quick video as a review, a reminder, um, and some things to think about uh, so that your dog feels safe uh, tonight when the fireworks get underway. So this is a review of a challenge that I did this past week, 10 things to do now so your dog is ready for fireworks. So um, the first four things, um, make sure you have an ID tag and a slip proof collar on your dog so that if you have to take him out to potty, um, the collar is secure and he won't be able to slip out of it. Um, up to date microchip, uh, that is, you know, it's kind of late now to think about that, but you can still take some good photos of your dog if you don't have that already. Make sure you have current pictures of your dog just in case. Backup insurance. Um, if you haven't already spoken to your veterinarian about the possibility of medication, if your dog is a candidate for it, again, it's a little late to think about that now, but um, if there's a problem, there's always tomorrow and, and you can have that conversation if you need to. Um, but the main thing that you can do right now is to set up an escape proof indoor safe haven. And here are the things to think about. Make sure it's an interior room. There's no exit to the outdoors, like in a mud room or something like that, where there's an exterior, <coughs> an exterior door not a good place for a safe haven because the, there's always the chance that if your dog panics and someone happens to be going in or out of the door the dog could escape um <clears throat> cover the windows if you can pull shades or drapes or curtains that would be a very good option make sure that there's places for your dog to hide and give, um, give your dog some extra bedding, extra blankets or pillows where he can kind of burrow down and nest and hide if he needs to. If your dog loves the crate, put your crate in the safe haven room. Uh, leave the door open though because dogs get scared and when they get scared they get claustrophobic. So you always want the dog to make sure that he has um, an escape route. You know, some place that, that he's, isn't uh, shut in or closed in. You can play soothing music. Classical music has been shown to be preferable. It's not uh, a taste, uh, you know, what your favorite music is. We just know that the sounds of classical music can be soothing. Um, put the TV on, a white noise machine, you know, anything that can kind of block out the sound of fireworks. Um, comforting talk, massage, slow breathing, all of those things we know are super helpful. Uh, play with your dog, talk to your dog, comfort your dog, give him things to chew on, treats if he feels like eating, all of those things. Whatever your dog likes, you know your dog, you know your dog's preferences. And uh, the next um, four things are to be observant. Learn to read and respond to the early signs of stress. Um, plan supervised potty walks so that the dog is never alone outdoors during fireworks because if something startles him, he's going to think first about escaping and dogs can jump fences and do all kinds of things that they wouldn't normally do. Just remember fireworks are not normal. Um, and check on the dog often in the safe haven, but let your dog hide if she wants to hide. Don't try to coax her to come out. Leave her where she feels safe, where she feels like she's getting relief. Um, and finally, uh, test your comfort and calming strategies in advance. Again, it's a little late for that now, but uh, know what works best for your dog and use that. And finally, take nothing for granted. 
ask your family and friends and visitors and guests if you're having friends over to cooperate with your plan to keep your dog safe. People want to help and they have good intentions, but if it's not someone that the dog knows well and feels comfortable and safe with, then it's probably best if that person just leaves your dog to find her own safe, comfortable place, leave your dog where she's hiding and leave her alone. Um, and games and toys and treats that your dog likes on a normal day might not be enough because fireworks are not normal. So if your dog is um, not taking treats that are usually a favorite, um, you that's a sure sign that your dog is stressed. So make sure that they that your dog has a place to hide and feel safe. Um, and just have backup ideas ready in case uh, the normal things don't work. So finally, remember that your what your dog really, really wants is to feel safe. So give your dog a safe haven, some place to feel safe, and have a really safe, um, comfortable fourth for your dog. And uh, make sure that your dog is still with you tomorrow because the 4th of July is unfortunately the one day of the year when more dogs get lost than any other day. So do what you have to do and make sure that you wake up tomorrow and your dog is still there with you. Have a nice, happy 4th, everybody. Bye-bye for now.